Hey guys, welcome back to Wixfix. I hope you're having a fantastic day. In this video, I'll be showing you around the brand new classic editor. Yes, you heard me correctly. Wix has officially changed the design of the classic editor. I sat in on a Wix partner live stream and they showed off some of the new design and features and I want to take it for a spin and give you guys my honest opinion on the new design. Like I mentioned before, last week I sat in on a Wix live stream on their Wix partner YouTube channel. I believe this channel is actually open for anyone, not just for partners. So if you want to stay up to date on some new cool features that are coming, this is a great channel to follow. But during the live stream, I started getting the feeling that the classic editor is starting to move in a good direction. Not just from the design, but they are making some of the features more practical. But let's start by checking out the design and then we'll get into some of the newer features and the direction that I feel the classic editor is potentially moving towards. And before we get started, I do want to mention that only 15% of my viewers are actually subscribed. So if you're new around here or you've been viewing my videos for a while, I want to challenge you to subscribe to the channel if you find this video useful at any point. Subscribing helps the channel grow. It also tells YouTube's algorithm that people are enjoying the content and they should promote the videos more. That way more people get the help that they need. But with that out of the way, let's dive right into the video. Now I do want to mention that the new classic editor is currently only available for Wix partners in the beta program. The Wix team did not officially say when the new classic editor would be available for everyone, but I don't see it being too long before they actually release it. But as we start opening the editor, you'll notice that there is a new animation. So in the future, if you see this, then this will probably be a good sign that the new editor has actually been released. And I must say that I really enjoy the new animation. Maybe I'm just so used to the old one that I'm just dual to it now. After the editor finishes loading, this is what we will see. It looks really clean and new. In fact, the design actually reminds me a lot of Editor X, to be honest. But if we look at it closer, you'll notice that not much has actually even changed. Everything we are used to is still here. On the left, we have the options we had in the previous editor. At the top, we have the Add button, where you can add images, text, or other elements to your site. Next is the Pages icon, which actually used to be above the Add button. But here, you can add pages, reorder them, and adjust the settings for those pages. Below that is the Theme Manager, where you can set the colors and fonts for your site. Next is the Page Background Settings. Here you can change the page background to a certain color, image, or even video. Below that is the App Marketplace. And here you can find specific apps that don't come default into the Wix platform. So this could be apps made by Wix or even third-party apps. Next is the Media Library. Here you can select from your uploaded images or even just choose one from their extensive stock library. And lastly is the blog icon. Now, if this is anything like the old classic editor, this icon may be different based on which Wix internal service you're using. So it could be the shop, it could be CMS, it could be blog, it could be a number of different things. Now, if we take a look at the top bar, we will see that most of it is very similar to the old editor. In the top left, you can quickly navigate between your pages. To the right of that, you will see the desktop and mobile icons. It's here where you can switch between both breakpoints to make sure that your desktop and mobile versions of your site look good before you publish. Then if you move over to the right, you will see the undo and redo buttons that let you quickly undo or redo if you made a mistake. Next is the zoom out and reorder button from the old editor. This feature lets you quickly reorder your strips and content on your site with ease. Next to that icon is the tools menu. Here you can select which tools you want to be active in the editor as you are designing your site. If we look above that, you will see the save, preview, and publish buttons. When you make changes to your site, it is smart to press save to make sure that you don't lose your work. This is a pretty important step because I remember one time I worked an entire day on designing a site and didn't realize Wix glitched out on me and the work didn't save for hours. So I highly suggest pressing this occasionally just to make sure that your work is being saved. The preview button lets you see the changes before you actually publish your site. And then lastly, the publish button lets you make those changes public for anyone that goes to your site. The only other thing that really changed is the look of the settings panel when you click the design icon. But that's basically it for the design. Everything else seems to be the exact same. But now let's take a look at some of the cool features and new additions to the editor. If we look at the old editor, we'll notice that the icons are floating right above our website. This made it really hard to select elements that are behind those buttons. It's like there was some invisible block that you could not click through. The only way to actually select the items that were hidden behind it were to open up the layers panel and just try to find it, 
or by pressing the little up arrow to hide the editor elements, select the item, and then press the arrow again to show the editor elements. However, now the sidebar is not sitting above the site, so you can easily select the items that are all the way to the left. While watching the live stream, this did worry me a little bit because I'm the type of person that likes to visualize my site on my full screen, and so I thought this was gonna take up too much space. However, after playing with it a little bit, it really doesn't seem to bother me that much, so I really appreciate this change. Also, if we click over to the mobile editor, you'll notice that there's no longer this fake phone device. This fake phone device made it really annoying at times and I really appreciate them removing it. Now I can see more of the design and it's not so limited to that fake phone. The last big feature that they mentioned was the add button on mobile. Now I know this feature was released a little before the new editor, but in the live stream they mentioned that this was a feature for the new editor, but they decided to release it a little early. The last thing I want to mention is in Editor X, when you open up the ad panel and you start editing the site, the ad panel doesn't close. And I gotta say that I really appreciate that in the new classic editor, when you open up the ad panel and you start editing your site, the ad panel collapses for you and you don't have to manually close it. I just really appreciate that they didn't bring that feature to the classic editor. But for the most part, that is the new classic editor. I am very happy with the direction that this editor is going. I feel that they are starting to listen to their customers and partners a little more and I really appreciate it. In the live stream, the host brought up a question about adding a tablet breakpoint. The classic editor team mentioned that this feature is something that they have thought about and is not off the table for the future. If I'm being honest, I feel that the tablet breakpoint is a huge selling point for Editor X and I don't see them bringing it to the classic editor for a while. In fact, I believe it is safe to assume that any cool features that may come to Wix will probably be in Editor X first for a while. But I am happy to see that this is something that they are considering for the future. The only other thing that I would really love to see in the classic editor is an advanced responsive option. Sometimes I really want to accomplish something specific, but I am limited by the guidelines in the strip, section, or page. Some of you may be saying that the classic editor is mainly for consumers and not as advanced as Editor X for freelancers and agencies. And I completely agree, but consumers aren't developers, but there is still a dev mode. So I would really love another toggle to get access to viewport width, height, percentages, min max, etc. And maybe this could be something that you could control for individual sections. For example, most sections and strips in my designs, I am fine with the guidelines. But maybe for like one strip, I want to remove the guidelines and customize the responsiveness. Again, I can hear some of you saying that I should just switch to Editor X. However, from my experience, Editor X is such a micromanaging guess and check editor. It takes at least five times longer to design anything in Editor X because you have to make it responsive. If they added a tablet breakpoint and maybe some more advanced responsive options for Wix experts or I guess just those who know what they're doing, then the classic editor would be the best editor by far. But unfortunately, I don't see them adding any amazing features to the classic editor without adding that feature to Editor X first. But that basically wraps it up for the video today. If you guys are excited for the new editor, feel free to give the video a like and comment below your thoughts. Thank you guys again, and I'll see you all in the next one.